Welcome to 2022. Well, not the year. We've been here for a while, but welcome to SketchUp 2022. I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at what's new in 2022. So SketchUp Pro 2022 is kind of cool in that we actually have some brand new commands. Um, commands don't get added a whole lot. Uh, what, what a lot of the releases end up doing is fine tuning what's already there, but SketchUp Pro 2022 actually has some brand new commands and we're taking a look at them right now. All right, so while not a command, we do have, of course, a new scale figure. This year's scale figure is Niraj. Say hi, Niraj. Um, Niraj is a member of our team. He's on the customer success team. So uh, he's a great user of SketchUp and really just an all around great guy. So it's good to have him here and uh, nice to see him in SketchUp. All right, let's hop in and look at some of the new commands we have. Uh, so like I said, we do have three particular commands that are brand new that I want to take a look at. First one is right here. You see this brand new icon. Uh, it looks similar to our zoom icon, which we got over here, but you notice it's a little bit different. Got a little, I don't know, crosshairs there in the inside the magnifying glass. Uh, this is search SketchUp. So what this does, if you click this, you'll get this little pop-up and this pop-up allows you to type in commands you want to look for. So if you have a specific command you want to get to, but you don't remember where it's at, you could just type in, start typing it. Oh, look, I typed in push. There's push pull. Uh, this also works for extensions too. So it's not just native commands. If there's something uh, you've installed, uh, like I think I got uh, solid inspector on here. So if I type solid, there's solid inspector too it actually recognizes extensions and adds that to the search list. The other thing that we did here with this, this search is we added more than just the name. So a lot of places have that, you know, go to help and you hit search and you can type a specific command to find, you know, where it is because you can't remember where it is in the menus, but we actually added some additional terms. So if I go to extrude, well, we don't have a command called extrude, but the term extrude is often used to describe what push pull or follow me do. So by typing extrude, I get the option to quickly jump to push pull or follow me. And the cool thing is that I don't actually, it doesn't just tell me, I can actually click on this and doing so will put me into that command. So that search is a nice one. It's really cool, especially if you're a new user and you're trying to remember where everything's at. Uh, it's a great way to do that. If you're an experienced user and have all your shortcuts set up and never use commands you don't have shortcuts for, Hey, it's still there for you. It's still cool. It doesn't make it less cool. It just means you might lose, use it a little bit less. Um, all right, so let's, let's look at some more stuff. I'm going to jump to a different view here. A view that has lots of stuff really is what I'm looking for here. Uh, let's, let's, I'm going to zoom in on these, these trees over here. Uh, select. So select kind of the, the default command, right, is the select tool. If you come over here to tools, you'll see the next couple of new commands we're going to take a look at. Uh, right here below select, select works exactly the same as it used to, but we have this new thing called lasso. Lasso is a new select mode. So when you turn it on, you'll see you get the uh, little icon, the select cursor with a little lasso around it. And the way this works is exactly how you might imagine. You click and drag to draw a shape with your select. Releasing closes that selection. Now, when I did that, I got a whole bunch of stuff. So just to recap real quick, I'm gonna back out a bit, go to standard select. If you click and drag from the right to the left, you get this dashed window. Now, anything that this dashed window crosses gets highlighted. If you drag from the left side to the right side, only things that are completely inside the window get highlighted. So you can see there, even though I, I crossed over a bunch of other stuff, only those trees that were totally in that window get highlighted. Lasso works the same. So if I go to lasso, again, if I start on the right and I start running to the left like this, then it's gonna be anything that I cross. So I get that, I got the big group around the outside, I got this line in the back. If I go the other direction, if I go from the left to the right, then I'll see only the pieces that are fully inside the window I create get selected. 
So lasso select, of course, is a great way to do precision selecting to only select part of the model. You could do this, of course, with select and using modify keys. Uh, but if you're somebody who likes to use the mouse or stylus or something like that, uh, it's a great way to do that. That detailed selection, I think we could call it. All right. Uh, the next command, the brand new command we're going to look at is this tag command. Tags are not new. Tags are what used to be in the old days called layers. Um, but we're going to actually use a brand new command to apply tags to things. So normally speaking, so normally when I come in here, if I wanted to just uh, apply, so take this tree and uh, let's see what it's on now. Entity info, it's on a tag called trees. And I want to say I want to move it to this vegetation. What I would do is I would select it. I would come over here to trees. I would go find vegetation, click on it. All right, now it's in the vegetation. It has the vegetation tag applied to it. This one over here is trees. This one over here is vegetation. So what the tags does is it kind of simplifies that process. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to click on tag. So tag has a couple modifiers down here. Uh, first one is command, just like the paint bucket. If I hold down command, I can pick something. So if I pick this one I just toggled, then it, it puts this into, uh, puts us into the vegetation tag right here. See that the vegetation tag just highlighted. It didn't get the pencil. Don't, don't confuse the active layer with the selected. It just selected the vegetation tag. Now, while I am in the tag, anytime I click on something, it's going to highlight real quick in that little purple box. And then if I come back and click on it, I'll see that 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 tree, which was in the trees tag, had the trees tag applied to it, now has the vegetation tag applied to it. This one over here doesn't, still got trees. So great way to apply tags to information or geometry. You can still do it the old fashioned way. If I wanted to you know, select a bunch of these, I could still come in here and I could change the properties right here. That still works. But again, if you're somebody who wants to click or you're using a tablet, something like that, it might be easier for you to come in, tag, choose what tag you want to apply to, and then just start clicking stuff to get that applied. A cool new tool uh, really simplifies the UI because there's not a whole bunch of back and forth. It's just every click applies a tag. So those are the new commands and new scale figure in SketchUp Pro 2022. The next video on the playlist or next video on our channel is the new functionality in SketchUp Pro 2022. These are the existing commands that have new functionality or, or new things we've added to the existing commands and tools. Uh, check that out. And if you did like this video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. What's your favorite thing to do in SketchUp Pro 22? We like making these videos, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.